Hi, right, yo, what's going on everyone? This is uh, Alex off of your Gears Reality staff, and I'm just showing you how to do frame blending, slow-mo frame blending in uh, Adobe After Effects CS4. So, go ahead and load up. Actually, I already have a clip here. Just look, put it in any clip. Uh, in the little box right here is the Create New Composition. Uh, whoops. Go ahead and make it uh, fit to 100%. Um, let's see. Go ahead and find where you got the headshot at. About well, about a little bit before, probably like right there. Uh, what we're gonna do is want to go on and click on the uh, clip, right click and go to time, enable time re remapping. All right, and then this just enables you to do slow motion. Um, first of all, uh, go ahead and click to the uh, the enable from blending and the enable motion blur. I like the motion blur; it just gives it this kind of cool effect. I uh, click the uh, frame blending down here twice and uh, that just once. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and go over to this little diamond right here and click for a keyframe and just place the keyframe here and get to where the uh, headshot you're done at. Just I guess right there is fine. And you're gonna put another keyframe and uh, to get the slow motion effect. Oh, and uh, you'll know that you're you got it all right because there'll be two keyframes on the end. So um, yeah, all right. So what you're gonna do now, um, it's just a regular clip right now, but to get the slow motion, you're gonna gra drag these two keyframes really far apart. We're gonna get a real dramatic slow-mo, so it gives it this really good effect. About right, right there. Uh, now everything but this small part should be in slow motion, so um, if y'all notice it's being in fast motion, like other than that small part that's supposed to happen, so don't worry. Um, that's that right there. Um, let's see what else. Um, <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to effect. Uh, let's see, where is it at? Uh, well, actually, to tell you the truth, a good thing to do is for like amazing quality, you can go to uh, uh, effects. Whoops, fuck me. Effect. Uh, oh, trap code star blue. Um, you're gonna have to download this torrent separately. Um, but if you don't have it, you can get off a torrent. It's everywhere. All right, now what it does is it gets to this effect, kind of like in a weird kind of. You see it in the montage, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, you can change. You can mess around these settings. It's on. You can do whatever you want. Uh, let that load for a second. Alright, now you can probably put the strength down to about 2. You don't need that much. Well, maybe a little bit more. Maybe like 12. You know, just fuck around with it a little bit. Boost light. Uh, you can do whatever you want with that. It just gives it the... You just just gives it that amount, you know. Uh, just go ahead and put that down to about like 1 or 2. Alright, now that just gives it a cool effect. You can do whatever you want, but I don't, I don't ever use that. So, you know... <laughs> Um, so yeah, that, that does that. Um, another thing to do is you can go to effect. Oops. Effect. Time. CC. Force motion blur. Now what this does, this gives it amazing quality. Like, literally like, up the butt rape ass quality. You like, you'll be amazed at how amazing it is. And, um... That's pretty much all you need to know about the frame blending. It's very simple. Um, I'm pu we're putting up a lot of more tutorials this summer for Gears Reality, so sub subscribe. Subscribe to me in my in the description. Um, check out our vids and I'll uh, talk to y'all later. Peace.